guys, I'm going to teach you how to pull apart a cookie dough recipe and cook a portion of that recipe. I'm just scrolling down before I press start cooking and I'm going to select step two because I only want the sauce. So it's going to start from step two and therefore ignore all the previous steps that I'm not interested in cooking today. I'm going to be weighing the ingredients up on top to show you that you can use your thermo mix to pre-prepare and um, get your ingredients ready prior. I've just popped a bowl up on top and teared those scales and I'm just popping in all the vegetables that I'm going to use for the bolognese today. I'm going to be using a mix of celery and onion. This is a great recipe for using up your ingredients out of your fridge. So I've just popped all those vegetables in and the next step is to add in there some olive oil. So just tipping that straight in there according to the instructions on the screen. And now I've just got to pop on the lid with the measuring cup. So I just want to show you that there is a hole for um, popping in the measuring cup. Sometimes you need to leave that out and sometimes you need to pop that back in. So five seconds and this is going to pulverize those vegetables on speed seven and I'll just show you what that looks like before I start cooking on the next step. Popping the lid back on and next this is going to saute for five minutes on speed two and we'll come back when it's done. Coming back again now and just pressing next to see the next step. The recipe calls for 800 grams of minced meat and so I've just got a tray of minced meat here and I'm just going to cu um, cut that into sections a little bit before I pop it in the machine just to help it separate up a little bit. Just cut it into about eight chunks there. I'm just going to dump the entire thing into the bowl because it's already been weighed in the packaging for me. Next, it's asking me to break apart the mincemeat with the spatula. So I'm just going to take the jug off and do that part of this in on the bench. So just moving around the bowl there and giving it a good smash. So jug back on now and next I'm just going to pop on the lid so that the Thermomix can brown that meat for me and it's going to take eight minutes on speed one and we will come back to some lovely browned meat. I also want to teach you a little bit about our modes on the thermo mix. I'm going to teach you how to cook uh, chickpea pasta utilizing our egg boiling mode. We have a number of modes on thermo mix and we like to eat our chickpea pasta regularly. So it's just a little bit of a hack. The egg boiler mode um, stops the blades from spinning. So it actually works out really well to be able to cook pasta. I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. Next step for the sauce is some wine. And I'm using a Bull Oak um, brand of white wine. And just tipping that straight in there fantastic that there's no measuring cups needed it just brings down the dishes and next popping that lid back on and now it's going to cook out that wine for us and that's going to take five minutes on speed one 
back again and next step is 400 grams of tomatoes so I'm just using an entire can of diced tomatoes in there just a little bit of seasoning just asking for some salt and in that goes some pepper next Now before I continue cooking I'm just going to add my little personal touch. I like to put in balsamic vinegar into my bolognese sauces so just popping in just a little bit of balsamic vinegar and a teaspoon of sugar to bring out the flavour in those tomatoes. So it's great that you can go ahead and cook any old recipes that you might have or manipulate um, recipes to suit your taste. This sauce is going to take 20 minutes on a stirring mode and then we'll be done. So I've just come back after 20 minutes and our sauce is finished. I'm just going to scrape down the sides a little bit and mix that around. And there it is, that's what it looks like, our beautiful bolognese sauce that we haven't even had to look after or stir. Now I'm going to show you how to cook pasta in our egg boiler mode. We have a number of modes on Thermomix that are always being updated. This is the kettle mode and I've just heated that water up to 100 degrees. You can be very specific about the temperature you would like, but for pasta I'm using 100 degrees. So the water's already heated and that's a litre of water and I'm just about to um, tip in the pasta and show you how to cook it on the egg boiler mode. The reason I use egg boiler mode is because it stops the blades from spinning and therefore not cutting up any of your pasta and it keeps it whole. So I'm just sprinkling that in there around half a box and just a little bit of seasoning. Popping the lid back on and going across to select the egg boiler mode, which is that bottom one on the left there. Those are the instructions for cooking your eggs perfectly. It'll tell you um, which mode to use for which type of egg you would like. But in this case, we're just going to use it for pasta and I'm just going to use the soft boiler egg mode because I know that that's for eight minutes and that's exactly what I'm after for this kind of pasta. So it's all finished that took eight minutes and the pasta is cooked absolutely perfectly. Just giving that little bit of a stir to separate it a little bit and I'm just going to drain that in my colander and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So there it is, the chickpea pasta cooked perfectly and it's going to go with our bolognese sauce really really nice. I've just sprinkled that with a little bit of tasty cheese and some parsley and added just a tiny bit of olive oil because that's how we like to eat it. If you'd like to know anything more about Thermomix, I am an online demonstrator. Happy to do some demonstrations for you one-on-one -on -one or in a group, whichever you would like. Or if you're not interested in demonstration but would like to purchase Thermomix, you're welcome to make your purchase directly from my description bar. There is a link included to go directly through and purchase yours. Regardless of which way you would like to make your purchase, either through a demonstration or online, you will always receive ongoing support from Thermomix and our entire community to help you on your journey. 
feel free to follow me on either Facebook or Instagram. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see ongoing videos um, about Thermomix and don't forget to hit the notification bell to make sure you are being notified. Have a beautiful day and let me know if there's anything you would like to see on my next videos. Thanks, bye.